Whoa! Check this out! Pretty cool, huh? I guess, if you can't afford real art. We can all do that, see? This would probably sell for a lot. I can practically smell the money. Meh. I guess. Good afternoon, students. What beautiful pieces! I know. Bravo! This calls for an art challenge! Let's go! Whoa! What is this place? Look! Welcome, my little artists. Hey there! Get your creative minds ready, because you've entered the drawing challenge! What's he doing over there? Hmm. Ooh, this one feels nice. Green has antioxidants, right? So good for the skin. He knows that <laughs> paint, right? <laughs> okay, how do I look? Um, refreshed? Anyway… Hmm. Yikes! I put paint on my face? Actually, I have an idea. It's finger painting time! Did he say finger painting? Aw, oh, man. Wait, I know. Oh yeah, come to Papa! Ta-da! She's pretty, isn't she? You like mermaids? Yeah, so what? Uh, let's try this again. Ha! Oh yeah! Let's get it, come on! Got it! Oh! <gasps> Check out these sparkling hues. Nice, right? Which of you wanna go in? One, yeah, two, three, come it is. Four. Starting with glitter and gold. The color of wealth, of course. I just need two prints. Then it's time to add the details. Aw, look how cute! They're little buddies, see? Finger painting's kinda fun. I'm pretty good at it. Here you go. Only the best for you guys. All done! I'm pretty impressed with myself. Ooh! What should I make? I have to use my fingers. I got it! Art supplies assemble! Nice! Let's see. Huh? What's she gonna do? Wouldn't you like to know? Ooh, pretty! Finger time! Wow, this feels kinda nice. Better hurry before it dries. Ha! Right in the middle. Now all I have to do is fill it in. The hand serves as a great start. Almost all filled in here. Let's keep going. Can you guess what it is? It all depends how you look at it. And from this angle, it's a flamingo. Can't forget her little legs. Isn't she cute? Done! Hey, look what I made. Huh, not bad. Mine's cuter. Like my tie? Anyway, <laughs> let's see. Aw, oh, very nice. Hazel? A flamingo. How clever. Made from your hand, huh? Well done. But this one goes to Hazel. Really? I did it! Seriously? But look how adorable! Woohoo! Okay, kids. This next challenge calls for thinking. Way outside the box. Catch my drift? Oh! Wow, cool! Whatever, big whoop. Get it? Pick a letter. I've got this in the bag. Let's see. Hmm. Whoa. I see. Oh no! Hang on, dude! Nothing more over here. Hmm. Which letter should I choose? Of course! B and D! Has she lost her mind? No, I'm seeing crystal clear. Consider me inspired. First, we have a lowercase b. Then, a lowercase d. And that's where the fun begins. Aw, a cute little nose! Can you see it's a doggy? Isn't he just the cutest? Aw, little paws! 
What's a dog without a pink tongue? And he's got golden fur. It may take a while, but it's worth it. All done. Hey, look! Hmm. Oh. All from two letters! Oh. Yes, I can see that. I've got my own letter scouting to do. Let's get looking. Oh, that's more than I wanted to see. Yikes! Wow, that elephant is huge. So majestic. I can't see anything. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, no, no. No? The bigger the better. Just have to get myself situated. Like any good artist. Gotta love freshly sharpened pencils. Just beautiful. Mm-hmm. The first step is clean lines. Now I have my starting point. There. My letter's complete. But I'm still just getting started. Can you tell what I'm drawing? I'll give you a hint. It's very gray and very large. Check out all my careful shading. Okay, just about finished. E is for elephant. I'm quite pleased. Oh, mine too! See? Wow, very nice. I love dogs. So cute. And Miles? How inventive! And such stunning shading! Mwah. Now to decide on a winner. Miles! What? But my dog is so cute! You can't compete with skill. Just look at this thing. Here I go! Ugh. Shoot, I missed! Here, let me try. Ugh. Boo, I missed two. Just gotta aim. It really shouldn't be this hard to get one in. Whoa, what the heck? Look what it's doing! <gasps> it's totally drawing a picture in that artwork! Ooh, that's not good. Oh no, the teacher is here! Hmm, what's going on in here? Ugh, what happened to that piece of art? That's it! Art power is go! Whoa, no way! Look at us! Wait, lipstick? Oops, sorry about that. I can fix it. There. <laughs> Much better. All right, we're totally ready to tackle a drawing challenge! I'll spin the wheel and see what you'll be facing. There we go. Oh, how sweet. A heart. Time to draw love. Yay! I love drawing hearts and love stuff! I know what I'm gonna do. I'll start with the word love. Hmm. Wow, that was a great day. She was so beautiful in that meadow. Okay, now to really zazz this picture up. I'll add a little heart and then turn the O into a girl. The V can be another heart, and the E can be the person she likes. So cute! But it needs more color. This heart should be pink. Good. And the little one up here should match too. Okay, now for some more colors. A purple dress. Wow! This is really turning into something special! Time to switch colors! Yellow for their hair! They match! And I think he's wearing a blue hat. Time for some green on his shirt! <laughs> no, I love you the most! These colored pencils will help give them expressions! Ta-da! Alright, students! Let's see your artwork, please! Uh, huh? What? Oh no! Ew, keep the gum in your mouth, please! Um, what are you doing? Uh, just wait, this is my artwork, I promise. I just need one more moment. Almost done. I'm done. There, here's my artwork showing love. Phew. Whoa, how did you even do that? Amazing. Oh my goodness, that is very impressive. Hi, Marks. I'm excited to see what's next. Oh, there goes the wheel. There we go. It's landed on a flamingo. Hmm, not exactly the most dynamic. What will you do? A flamingo? I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. Are you kidding me? I don't have high hopes for this challenge. What am I gonna do? They're pink, right? I think so. No, that idea won't work either. Ugh. Ugh. I can't stand it! I don't know what to do! 
wait, what the heck is all over my hand? Is that paint? Man, now I've got pink paint all over my hand too! Ugh. Hey, wait a second. I think I have an idea. Let's see what happens if I start with a handprint. Whoa! That's pretty cool! And it gives me an idea, too! I'm gonna start by tracing my hand. Now to adjust this outline. Gotta add an eye and beak. I'll color in the beak first, since it's black. And now to fill in the pink everywhere else. So much pink! I'll just keep going back and forth here with the color. It's a lot of pink for sure, but I'm getting there! Ooh, there's a pink highlighter in here. I'll need it. Time to turn my handprint into a tropical bird. I'm gonna turn my thumb into the head of the bird. There's the black beak. Now for the eyes and then the legs. There are skinny yellow legs. And I'm done! All right, class. Let's see your finished projects for Flamingo. <clears throat> Here's my picture for Flamingo. Here's mine too, ma'am. Just like you asked. I see we have a full body drawing and a head profile. You've both done an excellent job! Oh, right. You had paint all over your hand. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, sorry about that. What do you think we'll get next? All right, you two. Are you ready? It looks like your selection this time is boy. I'm interested to see what you come up with. Hmm. I'm kind of bummed about this one. Not gonna lie. Huh? Oh no! I'm out of snacks! Now that's something to be bummed about. Well, now what am I gonna do? Hang on a second. I've got this empty plate now. Yep, this is totally gonna work. I've got a great plan. What are you even doing over there with that plate and marker? I don't get it. Why are you drawing on the plate like that? Don't worry about me. I know what I'm doing. Gonna just finish up my little stick man on this plate. Hmm, boy. What should I draw for that? I'll try with my words again. That seems to work well for me. Okay, there we go. Boy, now it's time to transform it. Give him some glasses and now some hair. Looking good. Can't forget your ear, though. Or his chin, nose, and mouth. All right, I've got my stick man. I think he needs a balloon, too. There. And he needs a string so the balloon doesn't fly away. Ugh. There's something in my teeth. It's obnoxious. No good. Maybe something to drink will help. Gulp. Hmm. Maybe a little better, I think. I think you need some orange hair. Just a little bit more and your hair will be good to go. All right. You want a green shirt? Sure thing. I'm done! <gasps> no! You spilled water all over my guy! He's drowning! I have to do something to save him! No, no, no! Stickman! Don't panic! Wait. Something's happening! Something's going on with my stickman! You're right! He can't drown because it floats! He's so cool! I love him! You did a great job! I win this one? No way! That's amazing! Okay, let's spin this wheel again. Aw, would you look at that! You got dog this time! I know what I'm gonna do. It's in my hat! What? A rubber chicken? Where did this come from? I know it's in here somewhere. Wait, is this what I need? Nah, I don't really play that much anymore. Come on, this hat can't be that big. <clears throat> is that a quarter? Is that what you were looking for? Oh, there's one for me too! Don't mind if I do! Phew! Who knew my hat could hold so many things? Okay, I need this pen. I don't get it. What are you doing with your coin over there? I'm using it as a tracing guide. I need a couple of circles. I don't get it. Wait, I know what to do! I hope you're all working hard over there! Okay, I'm gonna need my hoodie pulled over my head. I'll be right back. Hey there! How about I give you this and you lend me your dog? Thanks! Oh my gosh! Who's a cute little good boy? <sighs> my name is Patrick. Smile! I just need to get a couple of photos of you. You're so cute! You could be a model! Eee! Here you go! Thanks so much! Got my oval colored in except for that circle. I've added those little lines and dots. Now to draw his head. And some eyes, too. He's really starting to come together. Can't forget his ears, of course. A doggy needs his ears. And a body, too. And finally, his tail. Now to color him in. I think his ears need to be a brown color. And his feet and cheeks. Done! Phew! I made it back and no one noticed I was gone. Just gonna finish up right here. <laughs> Teacher, I'm done! Here's my picture of a dog! I'm done, too! Oh my gosh! Look at that cute little angel face! You win! She didn't even draw that! We're ready for our next challenge! Oh, I love dance! Looks like you've got a ballerina! Wait, what? How are we supposed to work with that? 
Don't look at me. I've never even seen a ballet. Wait, I know. I'll need this paper. I can fold it in half like this. What are you doing over there, origami? That can be pretty neat. I know, but you have to make sure to fold the paper just right. I started with a center fold like this. Then again the other way. Open it up, fold down both the corners. Good. Then the bottom flap needs to come up on both sides. Yeah, this is going great so far. I love folding paper. These popped up corners need to go back down. Corners over here, too. Just a little more. Getting closer. These sides both have to fold up. There! I did it! I made a little boat out of my piece of paper! What do you think? Do you like it? There! Perfect! A pair of little paper sails for my boat. But how is it for dance? Oh, because a boat dances along the waves as it sails. Wait, what? That's seriously what you're going with? That's totally not gonna work! She's right, see? The picture is on a ballerina, not a boat. Uh, okay, fine. But I think I can still do something with origami. Are… are you just making another boat? Because again, won't work. No, it's not another boat. Look, I made a unicorn this time. Woo! You got a unicorn! You're amazing! <laughs> Still isn't gonna count. Okay, you're right, but I've got this. Third time's the charm. I'll use two colors of paper this time. That'll help for sure. Hmm, what are you doing? Wow, this is hard. How are you doing that? You're going so fast! It's hard to keep up! Yes, I'm done! I made a beautiful rose! For you! It's so lovely! I can't believe you made this for me! But what the heck am I gonna do? <gasps> I know! I just need to start over with my folds. I'm gonna use the edge of this ruler to help keep my folds crisp. This part is a bit tricky. Gotta pop it out like this. And on the other side, too. Okay, I need to add some artwork. Just gotta draw a cute little ballerina on my paper. She's so cute! Okay, but I need to draw other parts, too. Gotta make sure she still has her face and hands here. And then do the same on the other side, too. Once I'm done up there, I need to do the same thing with her leg flaps. I think I'll give her some colors so she's prettier. But I can't forget to color it on each of the flaps. And I think I'll finish her outfit with a blue tutu. That's cute! Blue over here and blue over there. Yes! I'm finished with mine! Ta-da! Here, let me show you how it works. If I take the flaps and fold them up and down, I can make her dance! <laughs> Look at her go! So beautiful! Whoa! Wow! What a spectacular job! You win! Yes! I knew I would! But… This movie is terrifying! Change the channel, come on! Huh. Did you put this thing here? I've never seen it before. What do you think this is? A real pearl? So shiny… Madison?! What's going on here?! Whoa! Where did this outfit come from? Hey! I think I caught something! It's me, Brian. At least, I think it's me. Check out all this hair! Whoa! You guys having fun yet? Well, this day sure took a turn. There. Wanna take a spin? It's time for another drawing challenge! One, two, three! And… We got the blue shell! Aw! Kitties are my favorite! Alakazam! Oh! Come on! There! How does she do that? I wonder what's inside here? A gold coin? You try! Don't need to pull my arm! Hmm… I think I feel something. <gasps> it's a real kitty! Aw, he sure is cute, huh? What do you think his name is? I say we call him Marshmallow. Mmm, I guess. How did I get stuck with this? I know! I'll use it to draw my own cat! All I need is the perfect half circle. Then everything else falls into place. He's really coming together, see? It's amazing what just a few different shapes can do! And a pop of color, of course. Just a couple more accents. And done! So cute! Thanks for this! Whoa! Who's 
my baby! Marshmallow? You didn't draw anything. I was distracted! Show me your kitty creations! Well, this is embarrassing. It's my best work yet! Meow! <gasps> it's possum! Thank you! Didn't feel inspired, Brian? Alakazam! Huh? Marshmallow? Time for another spin! Look at them go! Orange? It's a surprise round! I don't get it. Beat me! I know! Uh, a fishing pole! Nope. Oh, wait! I got it! <sighs> yes, Brian? A car, right? No, not a car. It's a unicorn! Uh, oh. <gasps> I can draw one of those! I only have a million of them! They're my favorite! See? <laughs> This girl's officially lost it! Cool, right? <laughs> okay then! Start the clock! Unicorns can't be that hard. It's all about a bunch of bright colors. And markers on plastic don't really dry. So when you color them close together… And add a little bit of water… They all kinda melt into each other! Push another piece of paper on top, and it makes a cool tie-dye effect! And whatever you draw on top is sure to look super magical! And you can just color it black! See how it pops against all the different colors? Neat, huh? Is time up already? Mine's done and perfect! You can say that again! I love that! What about your drawing? You have nothing, Madison? Mm, meh. Like I need more of these things. Nope. I don't need one. Okay. Suit yourself. Hmm. I hate seeing her sad. Here. Want my drawing? You can never have too many unicorns! Oh, so sweet! You guys ready for this one? Pink means… An eagle! Not done yet! What? Is this supposed to mean something? Is it a secret code? Let me see something here. Hmm. This is a real thinker. I wonder what I should eat for lunch. Ooh, she sure knows what she's doing! <gasps> My hand hurts! That's it! The dots just anchor the eagle! Now I just have to color it in! It's better if I speed it up. Looking good! And that's all, folks! Done? Ooh, just in time! Check it out! <gasps> I'm very impressed! Aw, shucks. <sighs> I did mine freestyle! Plus, it's sparkly! <laughs> Do you love it? It's like a mermaid bird! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get your pencils ready! Let's see here. We have purple! Which means… Monkey! Wow! You ready? Hey! She wants a monkey? Ooh, ah! <laughs> That's pretty good! <laughs> oh, uh -uh. Don't be a monkey. Draw one. Hmm. What's she doing? Hey! Wanna help a friend out? Mm, I guess. Let me see this. Drawing a monkey doesn't have to be complicated. Isn't this little guy adorable? I can almost hear him! 
Wow! You're the best! Now for mine! Oh, just one more minute! Time is money, Madison! I did this all by myself! Impressive, huh? And here's mine. These look really similar. Almost like they're by the same artist. Too weird. It's mine! Oh, really? Okay. You can have it. It's mine, see? I'm so proud! Another drawing coming at ya! You ready for this? Yellow means… Square! Good luck! I think I can do something. I did this in preschool. Whoa! Someone paid attention in geometry. I'm not down with that. That's more like it. Hmm. This is gonna be good. Let's see them. A square! <laughs> is that even a shape? It's… something. Square! Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now do you see it? Whoa! Did you see that sorcery? <gasps> it's genius! Uh, mine's just not folded yet. There. See it better now? <sighs> A for effort, Brian. Aww. Stupid square. Show me? It's really easy. Just follow this. Now connect the lines you've made. Starting to look like a shape now! Wow! You artists have some real potential! Thanks for playing! Whoa! Can you believe it? We gotta tell everyone about this! Is this Brian's? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. Good work, Chris. What about mine? Hmm. Can you spot the drawing? It's not that one. We can lose these two. Let's get rid of the green. And it's not the purple pen. Fooled you. It was right in front of you the whole time. Whoa. Very clever, Luna. That gives me an idea. Miss! Look at this! Not again! Where are we? We should have a drawing challenge! Seriously? This isn't the classroom. Mm, I suppose it would be fun. Let's spin the wheel. I want to spin it. I'm the guest. It's my idea! Let go or else. Stop it! You'll break it! Oh, look at that! I guess we're drawing a rose. What's that? Ladies, I have a beautiful rose for two beautiful flowers. <laughs> Awkward. I want to marvel at your beauty. Grrr, I like you. Let the challenge begin. At last? Oh my gosh, get a grip. I'm gonna find it hard to concentrate. I feel like I'm looking at a work of art. I get that all the time. What a glorious mustache! Seriously? Hey! Yoo-hoo! Remember, this is a contest! Oh yeah, you're right. This doesn't look much like a rose. Unless… I know what to do. I'll add some triangles inside the heart. They look like petals. Now I'll draw the rest of the rose. This is looking good. Time to draw the leaves. I can't forget the stem. I finished! That turned out well. Nice! Here's mine! It's minimalist! What do you think? Like what you see? Beautiful. You win. Yes! I knew it! What's the prize? You? <laughs> I'll cherish this! Mmm, it smells amazing! 
It was obvious he was gonna pick you. You're just jealous. I wonder what's next? Not so fast. I'll spin the wheel. Where will it stop? Oh, a little bird! How adorable! Come on, let's go! Yeah, yeah… I'm not great with paints, but I'll give it a try. You have to imagine you're among nature. That's the secret. This red will be ideal. Oh no! This is a disaster! That's just making it worse! Ugh! Look at my hand! There's only one thing for it! Sabotage! Nope! Look what you did! Well, if you hadn't moved the paper… Look at this! And that's my fault? Uh, no. Hang on. That needless act of vandalism has given me an idea. This might work. I'll put some black paint here. And draw a beak. And then some legs. It's starting to look like a bird. There. It's a cute little bird. With a little help from you. That's cheating! But I love it! Mine isn't that good. Let me see it. Uh, if you insist. I think there's a clear winner! Yes! Oh, hello, little guy. I feel like a cartoon princess. Wow! Ooh, can I touch them? Shoo! Go away. Get your own birds. You think you're so special. It's the next round. I'm going to crush you. Whoa. Chill out. Okay. But I take art pretty seriously. Let's spin the wheel. Feeling lucky? Oh, interesting. Please. <laughs> I thought this was a challenge. I've no idea what I'm doing. Not so confident now. Time to get started. Maybe I can see what Luna is doing. No cheating! Again! I spotted some dust. See? Uh, carry on. Dust. Sure. I'll start by drawing a Y. Now I'll draw the fingers. Then the other finger. And the rest of the hand. Finally, the love heart. I'm done! That's pretty accurate. What do you think? It's okay, I suppose. This is my attempt. I think I have this round. Yes! Well deserved. Whoa, there was a prize! Luna, may I? How romantic! But, but! I'm so lonely. It's my turn to spin the wheel! Wait, what? Okay, fine. Make sure you do it right. A dog! This shouldn't be too hard. Am I supposed to be intimidated? I've got this. Okay, a dog. Where do I start? It helps I'm an animal lover. I'll start by drawing a circle. What now? Hmm. What next? What's she doing? How's that a dog? I know! I'll draw some small circles. That should be enough. Now I'll draw some semicircles. I'll add a nose and some eyes. I'll draw some of the details. And it needs a tail! There! A cute little doggy! It's possum! <laughs> Get it? How did you do that? That's pretty smart. How's your drawing? Well, uh, art is subjective, remember. If you squint, it sort of looks like a dog. Ooh, that's rough. Let's see who won! Wow! Would you look at that! I'm so happy! Do I win a dog? I love a fluffy dog! Ahem. What is it? That's it? It's cute, but I'd prefer a real one. I'll take it. You can have it. Let's see who gets to spin the wheel. Well, okay. Woohoo! I win!
fun! I'm spinning the wheel. Wait, do scissors not cut paper? Ooh, funny! I'm gonna enjoy this one. I'm sure scissors beat paper. Hang on. These look like rabbit ears. I have an idea. I better get drawing. This makes it so much easier. That's the body. Now for the paws. Every rabbit needs a carrot. I'll do the eyes and mouth. This pink is perfect for the ears. And the mouth. I better color the carrot. And a little green. And we have a rabbit! It's pretty good! Wow! I'm impressed! I need to be quick! Oh, I'm not good under pressure! At least there's a carrot. Woohoo! I win again! Go me, go me! Stop it! What's that? A bunch of carrots? <laughs> I'm happy to lose that round. They'll help you see in the dark. Ready to get creative? Then join us while we hold another funny drawing challenge. <laughs> what on earth is that? What do you think she represents? I don't know. I think she could use some color. <laughs> and how about a little mustache? Whoa! Huh? Help! Ouch! Where are we? Jeez! See this? And one, two, three, go it is! Yep, it's challenge time! What's that paper for? Like this little piggy bag? Ah, got it! First, I'll start with some hearts. Then the rest all falls into place. Hmm, next drawing. I guess I should try too. Here goes nothing. Whoa! It's just a bunch of chalk dust. <laughs> I'm definitely winning this round. Just a few more lights here. I'll use my fingers then. These'll be his eyes. See? It's a pig! But I can't forget the body. Almost finished. Hmm, Nick is alright. The color sure makes it better. Okay, just gotta add the tail. There. All done. Say hello to the winning picture. Uh, I can't hold mine up. Let's see. Hmm, looking good. So much dust! Huh? Achoo! Jeez, Melanie! My bad! Up next, a Rubik's Cube. Now that's a real thinker. A ruler and a pencil. Mm, I got it! The ruler can help me make lots of straight lines. These angles make it 3D. What's Nick's doing? How do you make it look so cool? Just turn the paper? It's a little more complicated than that. With the right shading, things can get really dynamic. See? The pencil is a great contrast. Almost there. And next, some super duper light shading. You can barely even see it. The shadow ought to make it pop. Yes! How's he doing this? It's popping off of the page! So cool! Ready to play? There! Incoming! Ooh, I'm gonna try! Check it out! What's this? It moves! 
Wow, nicely done, Nick. Huh, <laughs> it's like they're coming at me. Let me get closer. Look! Look at her go! <laughs> Look at all the flying colors. <laughs> Getting dizzy yet? One more twirl, and done! <gasps> oh no! What? Is it on my face? Oh, it's like an abstract makeup! I've never seen anything like it! Huh? Abracadabra, you're drawing a… BAM! Uh, I guess we're getting crazy today. Don't mind if I do! Let's do this. I'm just gonna trace this really quick. First in here, then around the little handles. Okay, there. Nice. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Now for the cutting action. Am I dexterous enough for this? Ugh. Ooh, watch the fingers. What's that? Uh, whatever. What is all this stuff? Ugh, it's getting on my artwork! Can you guess what this is yet? It lives in trees and likes to come out in the nighttime. Who? <laughs> yep, it says who, all right. It's your new little owl friend. Isn't he cute? Almost there. <laughs> it's perfect. Just needs a little bit of color. These neon hues are great. It's coming together. Hmm, interesting. And Melanie's also quite something. Way to go. Cool. But who's gonna clean up this mess? Ugh, my jeans! Oh boy. Looks like Melanie takes the prize. Hmm. <gasps> I know! Yes? Remember what we talked about? Uh-huh. Yep. I'm coming! Who on earth is that? Got here as fast as I could. She sure is pretty. Hi! Here's your inspiration, guys. Now we're talking. Mine's gonna be quite literal. There it is. Uh, Nick? Anybody home? <laughs> there you go. Ugh, so many girls. I know. I'll draw straight from the heart. Just doodles, Nick. <laughs> Her hair is so long and blue. And what a beautiful tail she has. Such a good swimmer. I guess it's good. You can tell it's a fish, right? <laughs> Thanks for the quick swap, bro. <laughs> All done. Isn't it stunning? <gasps> Unbelievable! Oh no! I can't show her this! Ah, uh, yep. It's a fish. Uh, I mean, we've seen better. Yeah, mermaids are way prettier. There's still one more to go. Huh? What's that sound? I suddenly feel the urge to move. I'll let my hand do the dancing. 
I've never heard this song before, but I'm definitely feeling it. A treble clef, of course. This bass guitar is killing it. Wow. Whoa. Is this mine? Can hear you. How are we doing? Hmm, interesting. Nice work. Oh, um, this is blank. <gasps> Billy, is that you? Here's my sake, dude. I'm gonna faint. Oh, I'm gonna faint. Uh, maybe this is a bad idea. There's nothing quite like art. It can be expressive, emotional, and sometimes weird. But no matter your opinion, we all need a splash of color in our lives. So let's raid the art supplies and grab our brushes and pens! It's time for a funny color challenge! I wonder what it is. I'm so excited! It's kinda disappointing so far. I know, right? Uh, what's that noise? Surprise? Still nothing. Hello? We're waiting! Whoa! That was pretty cool. Wow, should we open it? Uh, well, it's mine. Hey, hand it over! It was my idea! Don't grab! You're so mean, Chris! Ooh, bubbles! I don't care! But they are pretty! Can I try? <laughs> no. Please! It's so fun! Hey, look at that! This gives me an idea! This'll be so good! Start with a canvas. Then use a roller to apply paint. Make sure to cover the whole canvas. Now take a coffee cup and dip it into white paint. And press onto the canvas. Be as creative as you want! Next, start to add color inside the circles. Try to add different colors for a more realistic effect. We're trying to capture the light in the bubbles. This is looking good! And now for some finer details. Whoa! This turned out amazing! I'm so artistic! Hey, Chris! I have some bubbles of my own! What? Jealous? Can I have it? Let's swap! Give me it! Wow! Huh? Where's the bubbles? It's empty! That's not fair! Oh, <laughs> did I forget to tell you I used all the bubbles? It's not funny! Okay, time for the next challenge! Oh my gosh, a unicorn! I'm so happy! Whoa, dial it back a little. I need to hang out with new people. What are you doing, Chris? <laughs> I'm Princess Sparkles, ruler of the Rainbow Kingdom. Sure, this is a different look for you. Stop. You're ruining this. Let's spin the wheel. This is so awesome! No hands? No problem. Here goes. I'll put mine behind my back. That's actually a good idea. Hmm, I thought this would be more difficult. Not bad. Finished! What do you think? That's certainly… something. What do you know about art? I'll show you how to draw a unicorn. Let me just check the scale. Oh, yeah, I, I always check the scale. Definitely a unicorn. What's he doing now? Hmm, I think I have a plan. This should make things easier. Start with a sheet of grid paper. And start to draw the unicorn. It may look a bit funny at this stage, but trust us. That looks good. Once the outline is done, start to fill in the middle. This is a really good way of drawing something with a lot of detail. Using grid paper allows you to scale up drawings. And it helps to make drawings easier. Time to add color. If only coloring in was this easy. Let's get some more colors in the horn. I told you we knew what we were doing. There! My own unicorn! Check this out! It's good, right? How did you do that? I mean, mine has colors in its hair. <sighs> At least you tried. I know. 
I've got a good feeling about this one. A love heart! It's so cute! Let's see who spins the wheel. I'm great at thumb wars. Yes! I won! Oh, so close. Please don't be bad. No paper. But how am I supposed to draw? Guess you'll need to figure that out. Watch this. I'll start by drawing a line down the middle. And another one. Then some lines at the top and bottom. And now for the sides of the heart. The pencil makes great guidelines for when we start to use ink. Once the basic shape is done, use an eraser to remove the guidelines around the edges. Then grab a pen and just follow the lines. It creates a great 3D effect. Now to add the color. Remember to stay inside the lines. Once that's done, add shadowing to the inside edges. A regular pencil is fine for this. Just add to anywhere you think there would be a shadow. Or where you think the light would be different. It's a different way of drawing a love heart, but it looks so impressive. That's it! What do you think? Wow! I mean, it's okay. What can I use? I know! My hands! It's pretty basic. There must be something I can do. Got it! A tiny heart! Huh? How about this? It's a heart! No, it isn't. Sorry. Okay, now what do you think? Ugh, just give up! I know I can do this! Come on, fingers, don't let me down! I think I figured it out! I just need a red pen! Place one finger on top of the other, then draw a love heart. Then simply use a red pen to fill it in. It's not too bad. I like it. Or should I say, I love it. But I'm not finished. Let's add a smiley face. And you need another one for true love. How romantic! Look! Seriously? Aw, that's so cute! Hold on, I have an idea too! Don't ruin it. It'll be great! There! They're hugging! I think I'm gonna cry! It's so sweet! Hmm, which pencil should I use? Blue or green? Look at her. I love you. Mwah, mwah. I'll see you later in my dreams. Whoa! A snail. Cool. Who spins the wheel? I win! Ugh! I was convinced I would win. Come on! No hands? Again? Oh well, I suppose I can do it. Here I go! Maybe I can help. There! Hey! You're doing it wrong! But how? Oh well, I'll give it a go. Close your eyes. Why are you acting weird? Fine. Luckily I have this blindfold. How do I look? Perfect! This is harder than it seems. You're amazing! I mean, you're doing amazing. I should kiss her. Wait, I can't forget this. You're kidding me! I spent twenty dollars on this! So stupid. Although… I better be quick. Get out of here! Who needs expensive flowers when you have a pen? Just create your own! It's more romantic this way. Just a stem and it's done! I hope she likes it. I have no idea what I've drawn. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's a snail. I drew something. <laughs> For me? You're much prettier than any rose. You're embarrassing me. But it's so romantic. Art is Feeling inspired? Share this video with your artistic friends and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our fun tips and tricks!